The Canon EOS M is an 11 year old camera that has been hacked multiple times to produce some of the highest video quality possible in a camera. So what we're trying to figure out today is whether or not it's worth actually shooting in 14 bit RAW or if 10 bit RAW is all you need. So let's jump into it. So I'm hoping to find out today whether or not shooting 14-bit RAW gives you actually any real-world benefit over shooting 10-bit RAW. Now I've only ever seen the Canon EOS M as a bit of a toy to be honest. Uh, previous uh, hacks of the firmware meant that the camera wasn't particularly stable uh, and you couldn't use it for long-form recordings. Now to try and mitigate some of that instability you would typically shoot at 10-bit RAW uh, which would give you kind of more stability or longer run times. Now that the new crop mood firmware has come out, we're seeing actually quite high uh, stability in some of the really great modes. And so it got me wondering, could I be using this camera as a B or a C cam on interview shoots? Now the difference between 14 and 10 bit video is essentially the color range. Um, I'm not gonna explain it now because I pr probably can't, it's uh, too difficult, but essentially the bit depth of your video is uh, giving you more and more shades of different colors that you can access and you can grade in different ways. So I'm going to be attempting to see if there is a difference, if there's a noticeable difference between shooting 14 bit and in very colorful scenes and 10 bit. I'm going to be exporting these files uh, out of MLV app into Cinema DNG, uh, hoping that that will actually retain um, any of the differences going into Resolve um, that might actually show up once we start actually editing these clips. So let's jump into Resolve and see if there's any actual difference between these two clips. So my initial first impressions when looking at these clips is that I did not notice any significant difference between the 14-bit and the 10-bit video. Um, you can see some of these uh, clips here are got a whole bunch of different colors. Um, and yeah, it's, I mean, I don't know if you could pick them out, I couldn't. So that initial test made me think that shooting in 14-bit is really not necessary. So I think in terms of stability when using crop mood, you're best off just to shoot in 10-bit raw video. This is still a huge amount and a very professional amount of data that you're getting in your video. And you're actually reducing the amount of instability in those clips, meaning that you could potentially use them for long form discussions or interviews that you're going to um, shoot. Now the only use case I can see for shooting in 14-bit raw on the Canon EOS M or the 650D or the 700D or whichever Canon uh, Magic Lantern camera you have is that if you are trying to do any sort of visual effects work, if you're green screening or anything like that, that 14-bit color depth is going to make um, your visual effects work look incredible. So um, I'm going to try and uh, do some really extreme grades on the 14-bit and the 10-bit clips to see if they're going to show any differences there. Uh, to see if extreme color grading is another use case for maybe using 14-bit uh, color depth. So as you can see, these clips pretty much showed no differences in the extreme color grade. Um, so again, 10-bit seems to be all that you need to use. Now, I know that uh, 
it's great to say on YouTube, 14-bit uh, raw video, but the reality is you don't really need to use that uh, when using Crop Mood or Magic Lantern. So I've also been running some tests recently about the uh, stability of the 650D. Um, I'm hoping to maybe use this as a C cam on some different interviews that I've got coming up. And I'm also maybe wanting to use it as a backup also for weddings and different things like that. So shooting in 10-bit definitely helps with that stability. And if you're, look, if you're needing stability in your uh, crop mood or magic lantern clips, shooting 10 bit will definitely get you there so thanks for tuning in if you stayed till the end of this video please comment like and subscribe all that sort of stuff uh, this channel is mainly based around the canon usm uh, and uh, the fujifilm xt4 my whole philosophy is essentially that i just want to help you get the most out of the gear that you already own and maybe tell you about some of the cool gear that you could be owning uh, that i have come across so if that sounds like something you're interested in i'd love a sub and other than that have a great day and hopefully i'll see you in the next video